topic of conversation among kids this time of the year. Well, at least most kids. Erin Ivory is here with a story of one 11 year old with far bigger plans. Sounds intriguing. Oh, it mm -hmm. is. It's good. I really, I had the best time hanging out with this kid who has created a front yard Halloween masterpiece, but it is the backstory behind it that gets you. It's not uncommon for kids to creep outside 315 Forest Drive. And it's like the, definitely the coolest because there's all this graveyard stuff and it's just like different every year. It's pretty cool. The fence outside barely containing its morbid guests. I mean, it's crazy. Um, I just can't believe that somebody puts the time and effort into doing this. It's not just the skeletons drawing a crowd but the 11 year old working away in the garage. I'm gonna weld a frame to make them go back and forth using a pneumatic cylinder. You heard that right, an 11 year old welding, which leads to the most common inquiry from the sidewalk. Does your mom know you're doing this? She does. Yeah, the welding was kind of <laughs> crazy. But not really when you know the backstory. Gavin's dad, Jeff Shakatano, loved Halloween. He proposed on Halloween. He held out the pumpkin and the ring was inside the pumpkin. His daughter was born on Halloween, and this yard always decked out in all its spooky glory. My dad really liked it. He made a lot of his own decorations, and his four daughters, my four stepdaughters, they set it up together, kind of like he and Gavin did. My favorite is probably this guy. This is the first Halloween without his dad, who lost his battle to stage four cancer this year. It's been hard on Gavin. Um, he'll go out and he'll build something and he'll be really proud of himself. It's, it's gonna be a zombie that like kind of thrashes around by using a windshield wiper motor. He just really wishes dad was here to see what he made. Gavin figured there was only one way to do Halloween with his dad, picking up where he left off. It's very bittersweet to have, you know, keep setting up Halloween, um, knowing how much Jeff loved it. What other lights do you have to put out? I have a couple more sockets. A son determined to keep the magic alive and the lights brighter than ever. Should we put more lights out? We're really proud of him. We think uh, he's using his talents um, not only to honor his dad, but also to give the community a great joy at Halloween. When the Crystal Lake Home Depot heard that Gavin used his birthday money to buy more Halloween decorations, they invited him to come by and pick out whatever he liked for free. We walk in and I thought, wow. The manager loading his cart, Danny Suarez, had also lost his own father this year. So I think he immediately was empathetic um, with this child, really just, just wanted a, you know, a kind word and a kind gesture, uh, and, and we were happy to fulfill that for him. His heart was out there for Gavin. It was just a really, really special morning. We we're all in tears at Home Depot. It's now the night. Since then, Gavin has spent countless hours installing glowing pumpkins. Graveyard smash. Halloween is like what makes me happy. A yard washed in spirit and light in hopes it's bright enough for a dad to see it from above. It's just incredible, and Jeff would be really proud of him. Then you can monster mash. Tell you what, turning grief into purpose, that is not an easy thing to do, right? Yeah. Uh, and I take away so much of these stories, but these people are writing the scripts, right? Mm. Mm. And I admire Gavin and Denise and everyone else that's involved in this. It's just, uh, they just kind of found their own unique path mm -hmm. to healing, which is what so cool. And it's story. different for everybody. Right? Yeah, great story. He's very creative and very good, hard worker there. He was using terms I'd never <laughs> heard in my life. I'm like, what'd you say, kid? <laughs> that's so amazing. Super, super talented. Would be proud. Yes, yep. he would. Yes, right. he would. Alrighty. Thank, Thank you, you, Aaron. Yeah. Appreciate it. Still